Watching tonight with more than one and a half million votes already cast in early voting. Election leaders are preparing for what they say could be a record breaking day tomorrow. Yeah, absolutely expect it to be. Our Josie Frost has more on how election officials are getting ready for the big day. They're looking at over a million votes to be cast more than likely on election day. TJ Lundeen is with the South Carolina Election Commission. He says that with expected high turnout, voters might see longer lines and wait times, especially when polls open at 7 a.m. So far, through the early voting period and with those absentee ballots that have come in, we've seen about 46% of the registered voters come in. So you're looking at making up that, that gap between 46 to 70% all in one day. Chase Meyer is a political science professor with the University of South Carolina. He says the state's population growth could have contributed to the record-breaking 1.5 million early votes. But the numbers show even more growth in voter turnout than that. And these numbers are really good, even taking that into account here. So because we're seeing these large numbers of voters turn out, even in states outside of South Carolina where population is not booming. He says it's too early to make any predictions based on early voting for a party or candidate, but he says early voters are typically a younger demographic, while older voters are more likely to wait for election day. This is just a sign that voters are overwhelmingly engaged. Voters feel their votes are important, they feel this is going to be a close election, and they feel their vote will matter. Clerks will be there well before 7 a.m. to prepare the precincts. They'll check to make sure there aren't any campaign signs. County election staff will bring in machines. Poll workers then have to check those. We're asking people to pack their patients when they go to the polls as well. It's something that, you know, they're... The poll workers there are doing the absolute best job they can to make sure that we're all able to cast our votes. Josie Frost, News 19, WLTX. And tonight with hours to go before the polls open, the FBI is working around the clock to make sure voters are protected. There are three crime categories that the FBI will investigate. Those include allegations of federal violations of voter and ballot fraud, civil rights violations and campaign finance offenses. The FBI has established a 24-7 command post that is staffed with agents, intelligence analysts, and other law enforcement officers. They're also looking for issues of voter fraud or election worker threats. Any tip where somebody feels that there was intimidation, uh, voter suppression, or interference with their right to vote, I would encourage them to report that to, again, 1-800-CALL-FBI or to the local authorities. Local authorities are going to be in a better position to respond quickly and then share information with us for further investigation. And if you'd like to report crimes to the local FBI office directly, you can do so by calling the number on your screen, 803-551-4200. Again, that number is right there, 803-551-4200. If you are planning to vote tomorrow morning, it is important to know your specific polling location. This is not like early voting where you can just vote at any location. You've got to go to your voting location tomorrow. So to find that, you can go to scvotes.gov. Once you're there, you want to click on the Find My Polling Place tab. There you're going to be asked what county you live in, your name, birthday, and last four digits of your social. After you fill out that information, click Login to see the name and address of your specific voting center and that's also how you can see your preview ballot as well. And a reminder tonight in order to vote you have to take your voter ID along with you. That can be a South Carolina driver's license, your DMV ID, a passport, your federal military ID or a voter registration card that has a photo on it. And there are some things to keep in mind if you are going to vote tomorrow here in South Carolina. You are not allowed to wear political attire supporting one party or another. That includes shirts, hats, and buttons. Also, you cannot carry a gun to a polling place. That's pretty much common sense. You are, however, allowed to take kids with you under the age of 18 if you need to, need to vote. They can accompany you in the voting booth. And from coverage in the field to analysis on the set to making projections, tomorrow's a big night for CBS News and WLTX. We have been planning this for several months now. Here's a look behind the scenes at the high tech set CBS News will use to make sure you have the most up to date and most accurate information possible. Nora O'Donnell explaining tonight just how much goes into covering such a complex story with hundreds of moving parts. We have reporters in each of those seven battleground states. 
in New York at our election headquarters. We've got a team of journalists. We've also got our data desk in order to look closely inside the numbers that are coming in all night long to give people a sense how America decides. We also have at CBS News something that's very different from everybody else. We have something called the Democracy Desk, our investigative team to look at any potential election irregularities. And CBS News will begin their live coverage tomorrow afternoon at 4 on CBS News' 24 hour 7 streaming channel. CBS will also have election night coverage beginning at 7 right here on WLTX. And remember, after you cast your ballot, you want to keep it here to WLTX all day tomorrow. We have live team coverage. We also have our reporters out in the field at all your different polling locations and your watch parties. And we are going to be streaming as well. So after our regularly scheduled newscasts, we will be going live on our News 19 Plus app. You can download that on Fire TV, Roku, or Apple TV. Uh, it will be J.R. Barry, myself, the insiders, and all of our reporters. And we have got you covered starting tomorrow at 5.